hello everybody in this video we are going to learn how we can add traffic to our game or uh, ai cars to on the road okay so because we have this uh, city and we need traffic on the road so for that i have created some boxes which you can uh, cubes here as you can see i have created these cubes till here and uh, because we should create some cubes in a such a way okay so first of all you will um, for your creating your ai a waypoint uh, waypoint system you have to create some cubes or game any other game object uh, in a sequence okay now uh, we will uh, create one game object and we will rename this game object to waypoint uh, circuit one maybe and then we will drag all the cubes into this game object okay in unity you can create traffic or ai system with both of assets available on uh, asset store but all of these are paid uh, most of them but i am uh, going to show you the smart technique so that you can add traffic or ai system with free standard assets okay so in standard assets we already have this in vehicle we have car waypoint based so we will just drag this car on our scene and that's it our waypoint car is available if you run the game you can see if we have a racing car we have one opponent car but it's not following the path okay so now this car should follow the path so how we will do that for that we will go to standard assets and then utility and in utility you will find waypoint circuit script here and just go to that game object the main one and drag this script to get that game object that's it now when we will add this to this game object it should appear uh, here yeah we can see uh, if we extend there is a button assign using all child objects so we have to click on this option and you can see our cubes are added uh, in a sequence okay so for example we have a zero cube this one you can see and then the zero zero one you can adjust this these cubes later okay like this you can see it's very easy so now when these cubes um, are placed in a sequence and our path is specified now what we will do we will just select the car and then we will search for this section car progress tracker and then we will drag this circuit here that's it our car is ready to go one more thing here target is already selected if in your case if it's not selected you have to choose it from uh, this thing helpers and this is the target object so you can drag this to target object okay so now we will play the game let's see so you saw it follow the path okay now we will make some changes because we need this car to move like move like this that's fine but exactly um, because we need accuracy okay with this uh, these points so what we will do we will just select the car and we will make some changes first of all we will decrease this threshold target threshold what is this if a car reaches nearby to this cube uh, the unity no um, admits that this car reached at this point okay if it's two steps uh, away from this cube so it's 
dangerous in this um, traffic system okay if we want exact accuracy we can make it like zero but in our case we will definitely make it like 0 0.1 so we can um, that is this is a good technique now we will save this after that we will also decrease this cautious speed factor what it means that this car is more cautious if we decrease this thing so the car will follow the queue the waypoint more accurately if we decrease this thing okay so we will decrease it, it to something like this and run the game so you can see the car is following exactly the cubes okay so that's our ai system that's it for AI system very easily we implement the system okay now I will show you one trick just make vehicles duplicate these vehicles and just change the bodies that's very simple like this I will do one in front of you so we can go to assets and we can go to something uh, for example uh, custom assets and cars and we can drag this Mercedes Benz here and now we will play with this Mercedes so and before that we will delete components here so for this car the components we don't need car body and this thing we will delete and then uh, in our this uh, pedal we will remove the tires it's approximately equal in size okay so we can delete uh, this tires no need of that it's my own trick actually and uh, it's very useful and now we will delete all the tires like this and then we will adjust our Mercedes body on AI car tires okay so we will adjust things like press F for just so after texturing the vehicle uh, with body and we can rename it just like a Mercedes uh, body and then we will move this uh, body to car um, AI car okay so now if we run the game we have one AI car then Mercedes and that's going accurately fine absolutely fine okay so like this we will add other vehicles as well okay so after adding some vehicles i will continue this tutorial so now i have created some traffic vehicles you can see here and i, I, I also added two three waypoints and add two vehicles here and created one more waypoint here for this traffic and uh, add two three vehicles here and created a, a one more waypoint for these three vehicles uh, so these will move from opposite side okay so you see that it's very easy to implement traffic system or ai cars uh, uh, opponent cars you can say uh, in unity by using free standard assets okay so now just uh, we will check uh, our game just run the game So that's it we have successfully implemented our traffic system and in next video we will hopefully uh, add and learn something new and let's meet in next video thank you very much